If you feel like massive and colorful water bottles are everywhere, you're not wrong. The reusable water bottle market has skyrocketed into a multi-billion dollar industry that's only expected to grow over the next six years. The popularity is incredible. I love buying water bottles. I have 15 water tumblers. Am I a Stanley girl? Clearly, yes. I think it's finally time to show you my Owala bottle collection. These water bottles are designed and marketed to be a sustainable alternative to single-use plastic. But despite the popularity of products like the Stanley Quencher and 40-ounce Hydro Flasks, the plastic used to make single-use water bottles is also on the rise. So why isn't that number going down if the number of reusable water bottles keeps going up? Reusable water bottles are pretty sustainable. Most are made out of recyclable material like stainless steel, which is created through a process of melting, casting, heating, cleaning, and polishing steel scraps. This process is much better for the environment than creating plastics like PET that are found in disposable bottles. So it should come as no surprise that reusable water bottles are not only cleaner to make, but using them instead of disposable ones can greatly reduce the number of plastic water bottles that end up in our oceans and landfills. But these benefits are only possible when people actually cut out single-use plastic and consistently use reusable bottles instead. And according to sustainability experts like Ushma Pandya Mehta, people aren't doing that as much as you might think. Ushma is a co-founder at Think Zero, where she helps people reduce their waste. And when it comes to reusable water bottles, she told us that they're more like accessories than sustainable products. What does it look like? What does it say about me? Am I on trend? I don't think you're buying it for the sustainability reason, if you're not using it for that reason. In 2021, this study evaluated how social comparison influenced intentions to reduce single-use plastic water bottle consumption. It's basically a study about peer pressure. It found that making the switch to reusable bottles was heavily influenced by how others perceived the participants' sustainability efforts which suggests that the reason we're so obsessed with reusable water bottles isn't purely for environmental reasons. It's why people with stainless steel tumblers still buy plastic bottles of soda and even pour disposable water bottles into their reusable tumblers. Microtrends make us buy more items faster and use items for less amount of time because the trends are moving at a faster rate. I think we, especially in the United States, are trained to consume. And with Instagram or TikTok or social media, we want what someone else has to fit in. The social obsession with reusable water bottles provides some context to the many water bottle trends we've cycled through in recent years. From Nalgene and Camelback to Swell, Hydro Flask, and Stanley. There are at least 12 major competitors in the reusable water bottle market, and the demand and increased competition is fueling this. Massive collections of an otherwise sustainable product. So this is all consumption, and it does have an impact. Consumption is a big driver of climate change and greenhouse gas emissions. So think about all of those new things that you're buying. The reusable water bottle market isn't slowing down anytime soon, but neither is our plastic use. The truth is, these viral tumblers can play a big role in reducing our plastic consumption if we don't replace them with the next popular water bottle. So the next time a reusable water bottle is trending, maybe it's time to ask ourselves why we're so obsessed with buying one in the first place. If you're thirsty for more content like this, then subscribe to The Hustle YouTube channel and our daily newsletter to stay up to date on all things business and tech.